have some interesting and historical facts for you about the Apollo space program. Fact number one, as always, I cannot guarantee that any of these facts are actually true or accurate. Fact number two, just so you know, the Apollo program, also known as Project Apollo, was the third United States human spaceflight program carried out by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA. All right, let's take one small step for ASMR and one giant leap for Dingles. The launch of Apollo 4 was one of the loudest man-made noises ever, shaking buildings as far as three miles away, causing dust and debris to fall from the ceiling of the control center. Eleven of the twelve people to walk on the moon were Boy Scouts. This is not an anomaly. Reportedly, more than two-thirds of all astronauts have been involved in scouting. A Dutch national museum has a moon rock in its possession that reportedly came from the Apollo 11 mission. However, in 2006, tests revealed that the rock was actually a piece of petrified wood. In addition to testing various components, Apollos 8 and 10 also returned photography of the lunar surface. The astronauts that went to the moon compared the peculiar odor of moon dust to used gunpowder, or like what Neil Armstrong described, wet ashes in a fireplace. Harrison Schmidt from Apollo 17 is the first and the only U.S. scientist to have landed on the moon. On the 25th of May, 1961, before a joint session of Congress, President John F. Kennedy gave NASA a clearly defined, sharply delineated goal to land a man on the moon by the end of the 60s decade and return him safely to Earth. Each Apollo mission had its unique patch or zone badge, which each team of astronauts helped design. The Apollo 11 patch displays an eagle about to land on the moon's surface. There were six Apollo missions in total that landed men on the moon. 11, 12, 14, 15. 16, and 17. When NASA tried to restore the original recordings of the Apollo 11 moon landing in 2009, the tapes were found to be missing. Three secretaries had been sent out to buy three by five foot nylon flags during their lunch hours for the Apollo 11 mission. After they had returned it, was discovered that all of them had purchased their flags at Sears. Corrected for inflation, the Apollo program's total cost comes to about $109 billion. The footprints left by the astronauts in the Sea of Tranquility on the moon are more permanent than most solid structures on Earth. There are not a lot of photographs of Neil Armstrong on the moon, since he carried the camera most of the time. The American flag that was planted on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission was difficult to erect because it was very hard to penetrate beyond about 6 to 8 inches into the lunar soil. To prove that NASA did not script astronaut comments. Astronaut Peter Conrad's first words when he stepped onto the lunar surface were, Ooh, is that soft and queasy? The Apollo 11 mission.
mission astronauts navigated space with a computer that had less memory than a modern cell phone. While the command module for the Apollo 11 can be found at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., the impact site of the lunar module Eagle that was jettisoned from the command module is unknown. Neil Armstrong wasn't the first choice to command Apollo 11. All of the U.S. flags left by Apollo astronauts are still upright, with the exception of the Apollo 11 flag. There is no official Apollo 2 or Apollo 3, because after the Apollo 1 craft was destroyed during a pre-flight test at Cape Canaveral, NASA made the next missions through Apollo 6 unmanned to test various aspects of the Apollo program. Throughout the 1960s, a majority of Americans were actually opposed to the U.S. government's moon missions. Some criticized the fact that the government had the money to invest in sending people to space, while pressing economic and social issues deserving of that investment existed at home. The Apollo program ran from 1963 to 1972. When Neil Armstrong first stepped onto the moon, he actually said, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Geologist Harrison Schmidt had a reaction to lunar regolith, or moon dust, after walking on the moon. He said the dust caused a lot of irritation to his sinuses and nostrils soon after taking the helmet off and joked that he had lunar dust hay fever. The astronauts of Apollo 11 revealed a plaque affixed to the lunar module leg under the descent ladder and read to the television audience, Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 AD. We came in peace for all mankind. The plaque was signed by Armstrong, Collins, Aldrin, and President Richard Nixon. NASA built prototypes of electric motorcycles and tested them out in zero-gravity circumstances as a backup in case the newly developed lunar rover was not ready in time for the Apollo 15 mission. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong had to go back through customs and immigration after they returned from the moon. The six missions that landed on the moon returned almost 400 kilograms of lunar samples. Lunar scientists believe that the flags on the moon have been bleached completely white by the constant, unfiltered solar radiation present on the moon's surface. Nine pairs of astronaut boots still sit on the moon's surface, having been jettisoned purposely in order to compensate for the additional weight brought back by collecting moon rocks. The crews of Apollo 11, 12, and 14 were quarantined after they returned home from their lunar landings. The astronauts wore anti-contamination suits and were sealed off for three weeks inside a converted Airstream trailer called the Mobile Quarantine Facility, or MQF. When a crew member of Apollo 17 accidentally hit the lunar rover with a hammer, one fender extension broke off. Cernan and Schmidt, the other crew member on the moon, tried unsuccessfully to stick the fender back on with duct tape. The lunar module Snoopy from the Apollo 10 is currently in heliocentric or circumsolar orbit. Analysis of the Genesis rock that the crew of the Apollo 15 mission brought back from the moon 
showed that the entire surface of the moon was once molten. The American flag on the moon was actually knocked over by the Apollo 11 lunar module's exhaust when the astronauts took off from the moon on July 21st. During the Apollo 11 mission, Michael Collins would orbit the moon while his colleagues walked on its surface. With no video monitor on board, he could not watch the proceedings, but only listen in on the radio communications. NASA had a special ceremony honoring the Apollo 1 astronauts on the 50th anniversary of their deaths in 2017 which included unveiling a new exhibit at the Kennedy Space Center showing the hatches of the damaged command module. Apollo 7 spent more time in space than all the Soviet space flights combined up to that time. Edgar D. Mitchell, an astronaut on Apollo 14, conducted secret ESP experiments. He would quietly spend a few minutes trying to concentrate on a series of symbols commonly used in ESP trials. Back on Earth, a group of physics attempted to read his thoughts. The Black & Decker Company was tasked with developing a portable, self-contained drill to extract core samples from beneath the lunar surface during Apollo missions. This eventually led to the development of a miniature portable vacuum cleaner named the Dust Buster in 1979. When the automated navigation of the Apollo 12 appeared to be busted, the astronauts used a sextant and a star chart to help them figure out where to go. Of the 270 moon rocks that have been gifted over the years, over 180 of them are unaccounted for. Moon rocks have frequently been the subject of theft and misappropriation as well as counterfeiting. On the second day of his 11-day trip to the moon and back, astronaut Ken Mattingly inadvertently lost his wedding ring. On the ninth day, he happened to spot the ring floating out the open hatch of the spacecraft while performing a spacewalk and managed to grab it before it floated away. During the Apollo 12 mission, astronaut Alan Bean destroyed the mission's color camera by inadvertently pointing it directly at the sun. This immediately ended the TV transmission of the second lunar landing. The Apollo lunar mission consisted of a command module and a lunar module that would separate after lunar orbit insertion. One crew member would stay in the command module, which would orbit the moon, while the other two astronauts would take the lunar module down to the lunar surface. A special speech entitled, In Event of Moon Disaster, was prepared for President Richard Nixon to read out in the event that the astronauts of Apollo 11 were stranded on the moon and unable to make it back to Earth. There were originally three more Apollo missions scheduled after Apollo 17 to fly to the moon, but all were cancelled due to budgetary constraints. Apollo 20 was cancelled in January 1970. Apollo 11 was the first manned mission to land on the moon. Over time, the Apollo program has employed nearly half a million people. Apollo 12 was struck by lightning twice after liftoff, once at 36 seconds after takeoff, and again at 52 seconds. The Saturn V launch vehicle was taller than the Statue of Liberty at 316 feet or 96 meters tall and 33 feet or 11 meters in diameter. During the Apollo 14 mission, 
Seeds were chosen from five different types of trees and taken into space. Loblolly pine, sycamore, sweet gum, redwood, and Douglas fir. The seeds were eventually planted back on Earth and germinated successfully. They're now referred to as moon trees. The Apollo 7 mission featured the first live TV from a manned spacecraft. The average age of Apollo 11's mission control team was only 28 years old. As of 2018, only four of the 12 men who walked on the moon during the Apollo program were still alive. At the end of the last Apollo 15 moonwalk, Commander David Scott performed a live demonstration. He held out a geologic hammer and a feather and dropped them at the same time because they were essentially in a vacuum. There was no air resistance, and the feather fell at the same rate as the hammer. The crew of the Apollo 12 were forced to spend Thanksgiving in quarantine, so a special turkey dinner was prepared for them. The spacesuits for the Apollo missions were created by Playtex, a company that is also known for making ladies' undergarments, like bras and girdles. The most unusual and interesting piece of earthly litter on the moon is a small aluminium sculpture called the Fallen Astronaut, created by Belgian artist Paul van Neudonk. David Scott, the commander of the Apollo 15, placed the statue on the moon's surface. The LRV Lunar Rover was developed, built, and tested in only 17 months, but was remarkably reliable and rarely suffered serious breakdowns or defects while in service on the moon. The Apollo 11 astronauts arrived at the moon after a four-day trip. When NASA and the Space Task Group were brainstorming names for their first manned satellite project, they actually favored Project Astronaut, which they believed would emphasize the man in the satellite. For 30 seconds, Apollo 6 experienced something called the BOGO effect, something that NASA pointed out would have been very uncomfortable for any crew. Luckily, that mission was unmanned. The entire EVA phase of Apollo 11 lasted more than two and a half hours, ending at 111 hours, 39 minutes into the mission. Armstrong and Aldrin spent 21 hours, 36 minutes on the moon's surface. When it was announced in 1960, Project Apollo's goal was to send a three-man crew to orbit the moon, not land on it. Apollo 4 was an all-up test, meaning all rocket stages and spacecraft were fully functional on the initial flight, which was a first for NASA. One of the most lasting contributions of Apollo 11 was a two-foot-wide panel consisting of 100 mirrors to enable people on Earth to shoot lasers at them and wait for the reflection to return. It is the only Apollo experiment that is still returning data from the moon. Apollo 13 was intended to land on the moon However, it was restricted to a flyby due to an oxygen tank rupture that disabled the command spacecraft. Apollo 10 was the fourth manned mission in the Apollo space program and the second after Apollo 8 to orbit the moon. Launched on May 18, 1969, it was a dress rehearsal for the first moon landing testing all of the components and procedures, just short of actually landing. 
Apollo 12 brought back some of the Surveyor 3 lunar probe, which had landed in the Sea of Storms just more than two years previously. The Apollo 11 mission alone discarded over 100 items on the moon. The inquiry into the Apollo 13 failure found that some associated parts did not conform to design specifications, which was the main reason why the entire Apollo program was grounded temporarily during 1970. Once he was back on Earth, Buzz Aldrin filed a travel voucher totaling $33.31 to Cape Kennedy, Moon Pacific Ocean, USN Hornet, it read. One of the first things Neil Armstrong did after stepping onto the surface of the moon was throw a bag of trash onto the ground and kick it under the lander. The Apollo 11 spacecraft reached Earth parking orbit after 11 minutes. After one and a half orbits, the Saturn thrusters fired and the astronauts began their journey to the moon. The astronauts that perished during the test of the Apollo 1 launch had struggled in vain to open the door during the fire, but the pressure inside the spacecraft sealed the door and made it impossible to open. Before the Apollo program, Mercury and Gemini flights had been the first steps toward a successful moon landing, testing how humans behaved in space and how to do technical spacecraft procedures such as rendezvous. When Buzz Aldrin joined Neil Armstrong on the surface of the moon about 19 minutes after the first touchdown, he called it magnificent desolation. After his career as an astronaut, Buzz Aldrin found himself working for a Cadillac dealership in Beverly Hills. During the transmissions of Apollo 7, the astronauts gave a tour of the vehicle and even cracked a few jokes in the Wally, Walt, and Don show. In 1969, Apollo 7, 8, 9, and 10 all of which made broadcasts back to Earth, received a special Emmy called the Trustees Award from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Buzz Aldrin's mother's maiden name was Moon. Dr. Abe Silverstein, NASA's Director of Space Flight Programs, suggested the name Apollo for the Lunar Space Program. And that's all for today. What topic would you like to hear more about? Let me know, and we'll face the facts together. Bye.